any pain here? I feel it like here. In the bottom? Yeah. Okay. Any pain? Mm, no? My right side here. Right hamstring? Uh, yeah, like here. Just the under yeah. the gluteal line. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hold. Oof. Oh my Not God. Not good. Turn huh? your foot out for me. Hold. Oof. When was the last time you trained legs? Ooh, this one gives away too fast. Mm. Come back for me. Hold. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Let's compress that space a little bit more. Any pain there? Yeah, a bit. A yeah, bit. here. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, not too good. That's your trap mead. Hold for me. That's your trap man. Okay, you can relax. You won't push too hard. Okay, we have a small short leg on the left side. Which one's more sensitive, this spot or this spot? Oh. There we go. Were you distracting me? Aye, aye, aye. Done. Mm. And you're getting anterior shoulder pain. So this is where the axillary nerve is most superficial. Now twitch responses are in areas of hyper irritability or hypersensitivity. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Okay, inhale, exhale all the way out. Ooh. What's up everybody? Dr. Ranian here. Today I'm with Sarah. Um, Sarah is actually one of the first patients that I treated together with Callum, who you guys may remember. We treated a few weeks ago. Uh, so I've been seeing her on and off for the last three years. She's been having some neck pain, upper uh, mid-back pain, some sciatica. So we're going to ask her a few questions, see what's going on, do an examination, and then see what treatment we can provide for her. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and hit the notification icon. We drop content weekly. All right, let's go. Which side of your neck is it? Is it the right side? Yeah, mostly my right side. Right side, Like okay. everything on the right side. Um, are you getting referral into your arm? Uh, it's my shoulder okay. mostly, like shoulder. Sometimes it refers up to here, but rarely. Like How far down? Shoulder. Can you show me again? Just to here. To the elbow, okay. Yeah. And what about into the shoulder blade? No, to, to the back, no. It's mostly no? like here. Okay. Upper shoulder, I don't know. When did it start? Uh, October, like October, uh, four okay. or five months ago. All right. Did it start? All of a sudden or did it progressively come on um i think it was more progressive because i would okay. feel my shoulder like hurting a bit and then it was like too much okay um and sciatica would come on and off like sciatica well. from before okay. it would get inflamed i'll do like my mobility my stretching it goes and then it comes back okay so how how soon after the onset of pain did you go to the doctor? Uh, maybe like a month. Okay. It progress progressively got worse and then you had to go in? Yeah. Okay. Um, and he did an x-ray. Do you have your yeah, x-ray with you? I don't or a think report? So. Okay. No, I don't think so. All right. Maybe the report, I, I'll check. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. And the doctor mentioned to you that you have some disc space narrowing. The narrowing, yeah. Okay. C4, okay. I think C4, C5. Okay, that would make sense because that nerve root, the C5 nerve root supplies the shoulder. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. And you had some physio. Yeah. How many sessions? I did five or six okay. sessions. Yeah, he mainly worked on my shoulder okay. and sciatica. Like, All right. Uh, and how do you feel after that? I feel better. Okay. After, yeah, I would feel Great. better for like a week, two weeks. And then if I try to train again, it would come back. Okay. So then I stopped training for a while. And I don't know if that made it even worse. Like it didn't help. Yeah, not training is yeah, not like probably the best thing. The yeah, right, you got to find the balance. The right balance. When you wake up in the morning, do you have any stiffness in your neck? Yeah. Okay. And for how long is it stiff? Like two, three hours maybe. Like I need okay. to get some movement and do my mobility. It helps. Okay. So what makes it worse? I know it's better with mobility and exercise. What makes it worse? Um, I, I, my sciatica is sitting for too long because I drive a lot. So like yeah. most of the day I'm like pushing with my foot. It, it's too much, I think. Okay. Upper back, 
I don't know. It's just in the morning. It gets better throughout the day when I when I move. So maybe okay. a lack of movement, stiffness. I don't okay. Know. Do you ever have any numbness in your fingers? No. All right. What about weakness in your grip strength or weakness in um, in your shoulder and arm movements? Shoulder press, uh, bench press. If you do single arm, do you feel any weakness? Yeah, this is weaker. Yeah. Yeah. This has always been weaker, but I don't know if it's because I'm scared okay. to overdo it with my shoulder. I don't know if it's more mental or... Oh, if there's actually a weakness. Yeah. Okay, we'll, we or like will it's assess. a cycle. Like, I'm scared to push, so it yeah. becomes weaker, and then it hurts. Yeah. Okay. You woke up with pain this morning in your neck? No, just stiffness. Just stiffness, yeah. okay. All right. With the sciatica, it's worse with the driving. Does anything yeah. make it better? Um, stretching, like the okay. pigeon pose, and okay. hip mobility, that makes it better. Any numbness? No. Okay. Any weakness in that leg? Like noticeable weakness? I mean, same thing, it's a bit weaker than the left, but nothing too major. Okay. Like if I do exercise single leg, it's the same, okay. like I would do the same weight. Have you noted, uh, what movement have you noted it weak in? Um, maybe single leg RDLs or okay. something like that. Because I feel like I'm stretching like too much and I'm like, I don't want to overdo okay. it. So right. again, maybe I'm limiting myself. I don't know. Yeah, fear avoidance yeah. behavior is a thing, yeah. right? We're scared of yeah. triggering that pain. So we exactly. don't push ourselves beyond a certain mm -hmm. limits, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's have a look at your neck and see what's going on. Okay. We'll start there and then we'll have a look at your lower back and see what we can do there. Okay. All right? Yeah. Let's go. Sounds good. Let's get going. Let's start here on your upper limb. There we go. At least we know the nerves are working well. Side here is a little bit slow. Okay. Okay. Relax your legs for me. Okay. Can you feel that? Yes. Same both sides? Yes. Here? Mm -hmm. Here? Mm -hmm. Here? Yes. Here? Yes. Here? Here? Okay. Hands, please. Can you feel that? Yes. Same? Yep. Same? Mm -hmm. Same? Same? Yes. Same? Yeah. Here? Okay. Squeeze my fingers for me. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Good. Turn your hands over. Lift your fingers up, hold for me. Okay, make a fist for me, lift your wrist up, hold, good, hold. Okay, turn your wrist over, lift your wrist up, hold, hold, yeah. Turn your wrist over again, lift your wrist up. Exhale, inhale, exhale, drop your head back, hold. This one here, hold, yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry, you okay, mm. make a fist for me, I'm going to push in, I want you to, to resist, okay, good, same thing here, I'm going to push in, I want you to resist, good, I'm going to push in, I want you to resist, uh, here. yep, okay, hold for me, oh, it starts to fade, okay, mm. okay guys, so this is a perfect example of why we start with neurologic testing, um, Sarah was not experiencing any numbness and only weakness in the shoulder, but as you can see, there's some weakness in the wrist, okay? Mm -hmm. Hold for me. Good. Hold for me. Good. One second, turn over. I'm going to push up, resist. Good. Hold for me. Up or? Yes. Hold, hold, hold. Again. Up. up. Yeah. Okay. Hold for me. Yeah. Okay. Hold for me. Okay. Let's get you to lift your toes for me. All right. Hold. Good. The side. Hold. Ooh. Okay. Bend down for me. Hold. Good. The side. Hold. Ooh. Not too good there. Oh my eh? God. All right. Let's get That's you to scary. stand, please. You're going to face that way. 
Any pain here? No. Okay. Any pain here? No. Any pain here? I feel it like here. In the bottom? Yeah. Okay. Here? No. Here? No. Okay. Bend forward for me slowly. Stop as soon as you get any lower back pain or any pain in your right Rounded buttock. Rounded back? Yeah, that's fine. Any pain? Mm, no? My right side here. Right hamstring? Uh, yeah, like here. Just the, under yeah. the gluteal line, mm -hmm. okay. Sit for me, please. Straighten the left leg. Point your toes towards you, chin down, slouch forward. Any pain in the lower back or stretching in your leg? I feel my calf, that's Your it. calf, yeah. okay, relax. Right leg, toes towards you, chin down. Any pain in the lower back or stretching? I feel, yeah, like my lower back's tight, my hamstring. And all the way and down. And my calf, yeah. Okay. All right, so that's called a slump test. Uh, slump test increases the tension on the spinal cord. So if there's any irritation, a patient's going to feel it anywhere from the lower back, glute and hamstring to the foot and ankle, basically. Let's get you on your back for me, please. Okay. Relax your leg for me. Any pain in the lower back or stretching in your leg? No. No? All right, relax. So this is called a straight leg raise or SLR. It's the same, same thing. It's a nerve root compression test. Relax your leg for me. Any pain in uh, the lower back or stretching in the just leg? Just a stretch in the hamstring. Stretch in the hamstring. Different to the opposite side. Yeah. Okay. A bit more here. A bit more, okay. <clears throat> Let's do some muscle testing here, okay. Uh, I just need to put, place this hand here, okay. Hold your leg straight. Resist for me. Resist, resist. Okay, turn your foot out. Hold for me, resist. Good. Okay, I'm going to push out. I want you to hold your leg, okay? okay. In. Good, relax. Bend your knee for me. Hold. I'm going to push out. I want you to resist. Good. Relax. Okay. Raise your leg for me. Hold. Oof. Oh my Not God. good. Turn your huh? foot out for me. Hold. Oof. When was the last time you trained legs? Two days ago. Two days ago. Okay. So there's no <laughs> doms, right? No. No. Okay. Oh uh, hold for me. That's not too bad. It cracked. Yeah, I, there was a <laughs> pubic symphysis <laughs> adjustment there. Uh, hold your leg for me. In? Yeah. Okay, good. All right. Let's get you to turn to your side for me, please. Face this way. Let's test your glutes out. Okay, bend this leg. Straighten here. Hold. Okay. Hold. Okay. Not too bad, but could be slightly better. Hold for me. Up. Hold. Okay, good. Let's try the left leg now, please. <clears throat> okay. Let's get you to bend here for me. Hold. Ooh, this one gives away too fast. Mm. Come back for me. Hold. Okay, <laughs> yeah. This one gives I away too even, fast. Yeah. All right. Let's get you to sit for me, please. Okay. Swing your legs over. So motor deficit is a consequence of uh, nerve irritation. So uh, Sarah is obviously experiencing a sciatica. Sciatica is nerve compression, commonly in the lower back or in the glute. Based on the fact that she is having lower back pain as well, we we can assume that it is coming from a compression of the nerve in the lower back, okay? Um, it's quite wide scale from the hip to the foot, so we're yeah. gonna need to work on that. Let's work on your neck. Let's examine your neck now, okay? Uh -huh. Guys, if you like what you see, please hit the like button and please subscribe. Your support will be greatly appreciated, all right? 
Let's, uh, let's have a look here. Let's start with the shoulder. Place both hands forward for me, please, and lift up. Any pain in the shoulder? No. No? And here. down for me. To the side. Let's lift this one here first. Up for me. High as you can go. Any pain in the shoulder? No. no. And down. Right side. Yeah. Up for me, please. Yeah, here. You start Up to here, feel yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Here is fine. Top okay. range is fine. Okay. Leave your arm loose. Leave it loose. I got it. Drop it down. There we go. Any pain there? This? No. This okay. range, no. Yeah, here. Sensitive. Yeah. Okay. So you have some pain in the painful arc. So from about 45 degrees to 120 degrees, we call it the painful arc it's um, generally where the subacromial space mm. is compressed okay this is where your tendons are passing through so let's have a look and see if you're having some tendon irritation okay leave your arm loose for me any pain when i do that uh yeah a little in the front yeah, yeah. okay let's compress that space a little bit more any pain there yeah a bit, a bit. Yeah, here okay yeah. And here, yes. most. Yeah. Okay, so let's have a look here. Make a fist for me. Re just resist, okay? I'm going to push down, resist. That's pretty good. Any pain? Mm, no? No. Hold for me. Bring your elbow in. Hold. Yes, Ooh. and it hurts. And it hurts, yeah. okay. Hold for me. I'm going to push forward. Hold. Okay. Turn in for me. Okay, good. Hold here for me. Okay, I'm gonna Up push forward. Okay. I'm gonna push forward, you're gonna resist. Ooh, not too good. That's your trap mid. Hold for me. That's your trap man. Okay, you can relax. We won't push too hard there. We know it's a little weak. Yeah. Okay? Uh -huh. Let's have a look at your neck. Oh, actually, look up for me, please. Let's do some active range of motion. Any pain? No. No, look straight ahead. Turn to the left for me, please. Any pain? No. All right, look straight ahead. Turn to your right for me, please. Any pain? No. No, look straight ahead. Bring your left ear to your left shoulder. Like this? Yes, any pain? No, just tightness. Here. Tightness, okay. Right ear to right shoulder. Any pain? Uh, same thing here. Tightness, okay. Uh, like a stretch. Okay. Any pain when I do that? No. Any pain here? No. Any pain here? Mm, I just feel it here. Tightness. Yeah. Okay. Any pain there? Same. It's Tightness. Just, yeah. Okay. Yeah. When I push down? No. No. Okay. Any pain when I do that? No. Any pain when I do that? No. Any pain when I do that? No. No pain. Nothing at all. No. Okay. Just want to do this one more time. When I push down. Mm, yeah, I feel a bit of tension here. Where? Here. Opposite side. Yeah. Okay. Any sensitivity here? Yeah. yeah Traps a bit side, tight. Yeah. This side. This side. Yeah. Here. Sensitive. Uh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, that I, is yes. quite sensitive. Okay. Right. Let's get you on your back for me, please. Okay, so that is L4. Mm -hmm. If I push on there, do, I'm going to push on here first. Okay, take note of how that feels, okay? If I push on here, do you have any pain? No. If I push on here, do you have any pain? Yes. If I push on here, do you have any pain? Yeah. Which one's most sensitive? One, uh, two, or three? think one and two. One and two, okay. So that'll be L5, and then this one here would be S1, okay? L5, S1, generally associated, well, L4, L5, L5, S1, generally associated with your sciatic type pain, okay? Uh, it's everything on the left side, correct? Uh, on the right. Right, yeah. excuse me, right side. Hold for me. 
Okay, not too bad. Contract your glutes for me. Lift up. Okay, hold. Nice and strong. Ooh, not too good, eh? Okay. So what happened there was we asked Sarah to do a hip extension on the right side to engage the glute so that I could do an isometric test and she wasn't really able to engage it. Okay, we have a small short leg on the left side. Can you raise your leg on, from the hip on the right side for me, please? Your squeeze, yes, and down, and then up on the right, uh, left side. Up, 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 up for me. Okay, let's do the right side again for me. Okay, and down, and then the left side. Up, 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 okay, they're pretty much equal. Okay. Any sensitivity there? Yeah, right side. Any sensitivity there? No, right side more sensitive, yeah. okay. Which side is more sensitive, right or left? Right. Right side, yeah. yeah. Which one's more sensitive, this spot or this spot? Not the first one. In here? Yeah. Okay. So we've done our assessment of uh, Sarah. Uh, I was explaining to her, we did a change of camera. During that time, I was explaining to her if uh, I didn't start with her uh, DMRs or her neurologic assessment uh, of her wrist doing my reflexes and muscle testing, um, I would have probably thought that the issue was coming from the shoulder. Based on how weak her fingers are, wrist is, uh, I think she has an irritation in the neck. It has been confirmed. She did mention that uh, she had an x-ray done in the past. That is definitely playing a part in her shoulder issue. What I think may have started to happen is nerve compression may have caused the weak shoulder to get weaker. This developed an impingement syndrome as the shoulder started to get more sensitive. It started to pull on the neck and trigger her neck pain. So what I'm going to do is fire up the muscles around the shoulder, desensitize some of these nerves around the neck and stabilize the neck using intramuscular electrostimulation. We'll then get an idea of how she's feeling, okay? If she feels much better, then maybe we'll get her in again to do some decompression on the neck and just work specifically on that area. With regard to the sciatica, uh, we're obviously gonna decompress her lower back uh, and do some intramuscular electrostimulation of the paraspinal muscles, get those muscles fired up uh, and stabilize the disc. We'll then re-muscle test her and see how she feels. So, um, you were mentioning to me some time ago that you got into personal training kind of by chance because you are actually an artist, right? I study arts management. There yeah, we I'm go. An actual artist. Yeah. My memory is pretty like, good, I, eh? I'm shocked to remember. Don't, no. There we go. Were you distracting me? Ay, ay, ay. Done. Mm. You're good. Yes, I was distracting her. <laughs> How's that? This one. Yeah. We essentially, it's more or less all of them are going to be like this. Okay. What do you mean all of them? We're How going to do, we're going to do a few. What I'm going to try to do is ordinarily, if I was targeting muscles, we would be using like a lot but i'm targeting more nerves okay so because i'm doing that we just need to use them in a few spots where the nerves are passing that supply certain muscles okay so how long have you been doing pt for now or uh, coaching coaching like four four to five years and uh, how's the online coaching going? It's good. I enjoy it because it gives me flexibility and the clients. Yes. As well. You do you do diet uh, programs for your clients as um, well? I don't do diet programs. I give like nutrition advice. advice. Okay. Like, yeah, like the macros, calories. This feels weird. So you often patients will often say my traps are tight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's a small nerve that passes just in the front of the trap. It's called the supraclavicular nerve, okay? Mm 
Yeah. It supplies sensation to the front of the shoulder, this part of the shoulder here. What happens when the shoulder gets pulled down from weakening of the rotator cuff or weakening of the scapular stabilizers mm -hmm. is that nerve gets stretched. So what the trap does is the trap tightens mm -hmm. to protect it, okay? Yeah. This is a theory that I have, um, which is called a nerve sensitization theory on why certain muscles remain tight or develop tightness for long periods of time. Mm -hmm. This is your dorsal scapular nerve. So this is going to supply your trap, mead and mill. You're going to feel it between your shoulder blades. How's that? It's okay. So where are you training at now? Warehouse? Yeah. Still warehouse in yeah. Alcuz? Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh sorry. Hi. Too strong. Too strong. My apologies. Okay. My hand. Yes, you are. I can also feel it in, on, in my hand. Oh, okay. We are, we are completing the circuit. Okay. Yeah. So here on this side here, I've got to uh, hold yeah. this. Yeah. This is a positive. You have the negative. We're completing okay. the circuit. Okay. Yeah. All right, we're just going to work your lat. So you're going to bring your arm up for me. Hold in that position. There we go. How's the, how's the pull-ups going? It's sensitive okay. in your shoulder? No, but... No, you're scared. Okay. We will take it easy. I will let you know what I'm doing and when I'm about to do it. Okay? Yeah. You all right? Yes. Uh-oh. Don't tense up. You're good. You've gone through the worst part of it. Okay. To all you guys out there, talking about guys, not girls, gals, as you can see, this gal is taking it like a champ. Don't be a wuss. The guys are generally the softer ones when they come in here. How's that? Good. You feel your lats activating? Yeah. Great. Okay. You can bring your, your arm back. Okay. Do your auxiliary now. Oh, Hi. so that's what we call the auxiliary nerve that supplies uh, pain to the front of the shoulder. And also it supplies the deltoid where the muscle strength. So when we tested your deltoid, it was very weak, right? And you're getting anterior shoulder pain. So this is where the auxiliary nerve is most superficial. Now, twitch responses are in areas of hyper irritability or hypersensitivity. That's a good sign for us. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to get you to lie face down. I was going to do the stimulation for your neck and for your lower back, but because it's your first time and I don't want to, um, I don't want you to be too tense when we're doing it. Mm -hmm. We will avoid it for today. I will, right. you will get you to lie down. I'm going to fire up your trap. Okay. And then I'll decompress your lower back and then we'll do some manipulation for your, uh, your lower part of your neck and your mid back. Okay. Yep. All right. Let's get you. Yes, please. All right. Let's go. Oh, sorry. So this is the lower part of your trap. You good? The muscle uh, definition on the left versus the right is different. Yeah. Um, 
It's definitely not a shadow. It's mm -hmm. probably because of the lack of activity yeah. on the right side, right? Yeah. You're going to lift your shoulder up for me. Slight note. Lift the front of your shoulder up. There we go. Drop down. Bring this arm back for me. Let your shoulder wing. Okay. Okay, bring your hand down. There we go. You want to come back slightly for me? A little more? Okay, great. Okay, we're going to strap you down. Don't be alarmed. Okay. 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 Inhale for me. And exhale. Inhale. 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 And exhale. Inhale and exhale and relax. Hey guys, for those of you who are new to the channel, the technique that I'm using is called Cox Flexion Distraction to decompress the disc, okay? And the technique that I'm using now is called Intramuscular, I'm sorry, not Intramuscular, it's, co it's called an Impulse Adjuster, okay? Now, Cox Flexion Distraction, relax your back for me, inhale. And exhale. Okay, when I come up, you inhale. There we go. And exhale. Cox flexion distraction helps to reduce the pressure on the disc. And by reducing the pressure, we create a vacuum within the disc. That vacuum pulls in water and hydration into the disc. And it can pull in a disc injury. It can cause what we call resorption of a disc. So if a disc is compressing the nerve, theoretically using Cox flexion distraction, we can pull the disc back into its place. What I'm doing with this is an impulse adjuster is used to uh, perform a manipulation without actually performing the mechanical part of the manipulation. And this is generally done or used in patients that can't be manipulated. Uh, if they are too acute or if they have some type of spinal uh, fracture or there are other contraindications that prevent us from using manipulation. What I'm doing is I'm trying to fire up the muscles, the small muscles that are stabilizing the disc because the benefit of manipulation or spinal manipulation is an increase in muscle strength. Okay, inhale for me and exhale. As I go up, inhale. As I go down, exhale. So Sarah does not have a spinal uh, sort of injury which is preventing me from manipulating her. But what I'm trying to do is layer therapy. I want to do as much as I can to have a, the most profound effect on her pain and injury. And relax. When I go down, do you feel stretching in your lower back? A little bit. In, under my hand? Yeah. Yeah?
can I have your right hand under your hip for me, please? And uh, at the front. Yeah. yeah, there we go. Straighten. Ah, yeah, okay. there we go. Okay. Yeah, left hand's perfect. Okay. okay. You're going to turn your head to the left for me, please. There we go. Yes, perfect. Let's reverse your hair out the way. Close your eyes for me. Inhale and exhale all the way out, all the way out. There we go. You good? Okay. Let's get you to sit for me, please. On your back for me. Lift your head for me. Lift up here. I got you. Leave your body loose for me, please. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Drop your head back. Turn your head to the right for me, please. Inhale. Exhale. You good? Big cracks, eh? Big cracks for small person. <laughs> Sit for me, please. Okay, let's get you back for me. Leave your head loose. Oh, that rents already, I think. Inhale. Exhale all the way out, all the way out. Oh, oh, drop that shoulder. There we go. Oh, oh. There we go. Oops. That's cool. We good? Yeah. All right. While you're in this position, let's test your lat. Push towards your hip now. Push, push. There we go. Lift up, turn in, push across, push, 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 much better. Okay, uh, we're going to adjust your left hip. Let's get you to turn onto your side for me, please. This yes, side. please. Give me the bottom arm. Pull yourself through. Look up for me, please. Place that hand there. Okay, inhale, exhale all the way out. Oh, you good? Mm -hmm. There we go. All right. On your back for me. Straighten your legs for me, please. All right. Let's have a look at your muscle strength now. Hold. Hold, hold, hold for me. Hold much better. Turn your foot out. Hold for me. Much better. All right. I'm going to push out. You go in. Go. Much better. Let's get you to turn onto your side for me. The glute will be a good test for us. Bend this knee. Hold here. Wait one second. Come back, come back. There we go. Hold. Hold, hold. Much better. Come back for me. Hold, hold. Still some work needed there, but not too bad. Let's get you to sit for me, please. We can pop this mic on. Okay. Let's check your shoulder out now. Up here for me, please. As far as you can go. Any pain in that in that zone? Here, no. It's just uh, like here. But yeah. it's, it's just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit, yeah. okay. Up for me here. Okay. Great. Hold there for me. So this was quite a weak position. Let's see if we can get it much better. Here for me. Hold. Hold, much better. Bend your elbow for me, here. Hold, I'm gonna push down, resist me. Hold, 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 much better, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's check your impingement test and see if activating your shoulder or your scapular stabilizers and your rotator cuff has made a difference. Leave your arm loose. Any pain? No. Any pain? No. Any pain? Just a tiny bit Just towards the end, but less than Okay, so that's one out of three. Yeah. All right. No, it feels better, yeah. It does? Yeah. Great. All right, guys, that brings an end to our session today. It was a long one. We assessed multiple areas, did multiple forms of therapy. Overall, we've been able to see an objective change in our assessment pre and post treatment. Now, what we'll have to do is see how Sarah feels over the course of the next couple of days. What I would do is for, for her upper body, neck and shoulder, I would decompress the disc or decompress her neck. 
to try and decompress the disc, do some intramuscular electrostimulation in the muscles of the neck to stabilize that disc and that segment, continue my electrostimulation of the upper limb, and then obviously give her some rehab for scapula stabilization, mobilization, and some cervical isometrics. For the lower back, that's been going on for a while. You know, I, I think I treated Sarah some time ago for it. So we'll have to now go back into doing decompression and some electrostimulation for the sciatic nerve, potentially uh, get her to do an MRI and see what's going on there. Why is it persisting? All right. So um, Sarah, do you want to share with the viewers where they can find you on social media? Uh, sure. You can find me on Instagram at Sarah Trains. I do personal training and online coaching. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe and hit the notification button. We'll see you soon. Take care.